Hey everyone! Today we are taking a look at World of Kings and different ways you can farm gold. Now it's a slow process, um, but it can be faster if you have an active guild. Okay, the first way, um, which is easy for everyone to do, is to go into trade and sell various crafting items. Now this doesn't get you a lot of gold, but it does help. So if you uh, craft some boots or sell some of the ores or other materials that you get. If you do the daily quests under the last tab with the um, fishing and uh, those sort of things, you'll get some of these items for free anyway. But if you go in and you craft something like boots and you sell them every time and you make sure that there's always something uh, like one of those in the auction house, that is a good way to generate some gold. Now again, here's uh, under daily it are the quests that you should be doing. Last tab, the fishing one and uh, others, those will take you directly to the NPC. And all you do is collect those every day or on Sunday, you collect them all at the end of the week. And once you collect them, it gives you all those items. These are needed by other people for the guild altar and for um, getting up in your factions. So or your reputation so these are important to have anyway but when you get a lot of them they're great for selling all right so anything that you have participated in and ends up in the guild auction house you get a portion of the money from so here we're doing the saturday night altar um, event and it, I have it under PVP activities if you want to look um, for the video. I'll try to remember to link it in the description. But um, any of the PVP activities that are related to the guild, you get items for that go into the guild auction house. So once this event is completed, I'm going to go into my guild area and down to the auction house, the guild auction. And here you'll see that we got a void soul and a couple other things. Um, in this one we took second. So we got less items, but still because we participated, we got items for it. And when they sell, you can see here that the next day I got a portion of the gold. Now it's not a lot, but it is still ways to earn gold. And obviously the more you participate in, the more gold you get. This is another easy activity that all guilds can participate in. It is the guild altar purification. And for more information, uh, you can check out the Guild Altar video. I will try to remember to link it in the description. And when you complete this by killing the dragon on Sunday evenings, you will get a bunch of goodies in your Guild Auction House, including uh, the Devil's Breath for the Devil's Wings and the Angel's Wings. Also here we got a Holy Soul. So these are really great things. It again goes into your Guild Auction House and then you get a portion of that when the auction ends. By far the biggest gold money maker is doing the guild dungeons. The more guild dungeons you run the more gold you get because obviously the more items you buy from the auction. Uh, and honestly our guild runs like probably six or seven dungeons a day. So the more you run, the more you're going to go make from those dungeons that you participate in. Now, don't think that this is going to be the big, huge gold farming thing. Um, there is a limit to how many dungeons you can run. There are charges. Once you don't get enough charges, once you get a less than 20 charges for your um, raid, you don't get any gear that drops. So it's important to make sure that you have enough charges, which means you need enough people participating. If you're unsure what I mean by raid charges, I will link the video uh, on T1 gear, which includes explaining about the raid charges. Also not pictured here are the altar events for your faction area, which takes place at 1230 every day. That also gives various items that are sold in the guild uh, auction house. Also, World Boss is another great source of gold income, which goes to the Guild Auction House, and that is also discussed in the PvP Farming Honor video. All right, one of the tabs at the top it will bring you into the Alchemy Workshop area, and that will allow you to collect gold, and it actually makes a good amount of gold. It is based off your activity for the day, so if you are pretty active and at least complete a few dungeons or something, you'll gain gold from this. 
Now, uh, perhaps a little less obvious is this is actually a very favorite among people who like to farm gold. What they'll do is they will complete a few various activities on an alt. And uh, here I'll go into one of my alts. And I'm just going to switch accounts over to one of the alts that I don't use very often. Actually, never. <laughs> If I actually did a few activities on her every day, I would be able to collect gold from this. And this is a really great way to get gold. Some people even have like four or five accounts that they will all run together at the same time to go through a couple dungeons on audio. And that will get you the activity points to be able to collect the gold daily. So um, that to me is too much work. I don't really want to do that. But if you have the time to at least run a couple things on an alt, you'll be able to do that. Now, how do you get it back to your main? Well, you sell something on your main at max price, or at least the price amount of gold you have, and then you um, buy it at least towards the end of the auction. People have said it's easier to find on your alt and get it that way. Up last are a couple activities that I would not recommend doing. You can use coupons to purchase gold in the shop here. And again, I'm not sure that I would do it, but you can purchase gold that way. Also, sometimes in the event tabs, they have events that uh, you can purchase gold for. But again, it's like a rare thing and it usually costs a lot of coupons or something like that just to get be able to do that. Here you can also exchange coupons for gold. I don't think I would recommend doing that because, you know, coupons cost money and you're, it's not a great trade-off uh, as far as the amount of gold you get for coupons, um, but it is under the trade window and the bottom tab for coin. Last I'll mention is um, if you're a guild officer, you get dividends, which means you get a portion of the gold that is sold in the guild auction house. So if you are willing to be an officer for your guild, you can earn more gold that way. I believe the people at the top, like the uh, master and deputy, get more gold than some of the others. So um, that is another way to earn gold. Um, also, I hate to even mention it, but the gold sellers are also another way to get gold. Um, I wouldn't recommend it and the game warns against it. I know people who have done it. I never have and I don't think I would, but it is an option that is there. Hopefully you found this helpful. This is all the ways I can think of right now that you can earn gold from in-game. Thank you for watching.